All right, everyone. So we're going to talk a little bit today about how to make a histogram in Excel. Okay, we'll be using an example of some uh, data that I've just pulled from a public source from um, basically weather data uh, for one particular year in Cincinnati in the month of September. This is just a, as an illustrative example. Of course, you can go ahead and do this for any other um, type of data that you want. So kind of as a reminder, a histogram is a way of analyzing data that basically looks for uh, frequency or number of measurements that fall in a particular category. So in the case um, here, if we're looking at, say, the high temperatures uh, in the month of September for this particular year, 2022. Okay, so we've got, you know, day one, 1st of September, all the way through to the 30th of September here. Uh, we can actually think how many days um, would typically be in this and this range. And this can be useful for things if you're planning to travel to a new city and you want to know roughly what the temperature range is going to be for that month. That can be useful. It can also be looking for, uh, useful for looking at trends over time. But um, if you do histograms across different years and data points. But we'll just do a simple analysis here to um, show how you can generate a histogram. So first thing we'll do, just to kind of make it a little bit easier, is we will copy, uh, say, the data we're interested in, the high temperature data um, for these 30 days. Just copy that, make a nice new sheet here, and we'll paste it in here. These are exactly the same numbers as before. Okay. So there's a couple of things that we can do to generate a histogram, okay? So first thing we can do is, you know, so here's our data points, okay? We can say, all right, Excel actually does have a nice little inbuilt function. So I'm using a Mac here. You can just click here on the insert part and sort of right here in the middle, there's all these different graphs, um, charts, et cetera. And the one right here in the middle says so statistical, and we can just generate a histogram, right? So we can just click on this and it will um, generate the histogram. We can, of course, um, you know, add chart elements. We can say add titles, uh, primary vertical, right? So this is uh, frequency, right? Or number of times that this has happened. And we can also add chart element the horizontal and this is basically by temperature in Fahrenheit. Okay. And so that's kind of one way that we can do it and it's relatively straightforward. Okay, the only thing that's a little bit more challenging is um, in general these sorts of self auto generated histograms are a little bit um, maybe, you know, Excel's estimating what it thinks are the appropriate bin ranges, right, or the category ranges. Um, the other thing we can do is we can um, create our own. So, for instance, we can go to categories, okay, or bins, okay. And so if we look through this data, there's really nothing below 60, so that's the lowest. And there's really nothing above 95, the highest 93. So we may want to do, say, instead of eight degree increments like what Excel generated for us, we may want to do five degree increments. Okay, so we can go 60, 65, and then taking advantage of the fact that we can just click here and drag down. Okay. So now we have 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, and 95. Okay, so they're basically our categories. How many days are um, basically between these two? How many days are going to be between these two? And so the other thing um, that's nice about Excel is it actually does have um, tools to do this automatically. So if you click here under the Tools tab, there's a Data Analysis. Um, tab here, and we can just click on histogram. Okay, so let me just kind of share that again. Okay, go back over here, and we can click on our tools, data analysis, 
and the histogram. Okay, and we can input our data. So we can click on these numbers. It's very important to make sure for your input range and your bin range, you only actually include numbers. If you have, say, the title in there, it won't really know what to do with it. In the same way, we can do the bin range. Okay, so these are the categories or the bins. Again, only the numbers. And then the output range, we can just put it somewhere on the same sheet. Okay. And finally, we can click OK. And it generates basically all of these measures. The high temperature, say between 60 and 65 was 1, between 65 and 70 was 0, between 70 and 75 was 4, 75 and 80 was 6. And this you know, sounds pretty consistent with Cincinnati in the month of September. We would typically be expecting highs in the range of sort of uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit to maybe 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And most of the data falls into that range. Okay, so to generate a plot that's very similar um, to this one here, but where we had the flexibility over defining exactly what our bin ranges are, do the same thing as before. We can go over here, highlight our data. But now, instead of making the histogram based on the full data set, we've already had Excel calculate the frequencies of the counts. So we just need to plot this as a bar chart. Okay, so we can just plot this as a simple column or bar chart. Looks like that. Uh, looks pretty good. The only problem is see these numbers here correspond to the first row, second row, third row, etc. And so to change that to our categories, we can go ahead, click on select data, and notice here there's a horizontal category x-axis label, and we can just select those there. That's what is output for us. Click OK. And so now it makes sense. This is you know number between 60 and 65, 65 and 70, etc. And then finally, if we want to add any um, chart elements, we can do that. So for instance, we can add titles for the horizontal. Again, that would be high temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. And same way here. Vertical title, we can call this frequency. Okay. And that's how we can generate a histogram using the data analysis um, tool pack. Um, as I um, may have mentioned earlier, uh, for the data analysis tool pack, if you don't have it, you have to click on these Excel add-ins and then click on analysis tool pack. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, and good luck with making your histograms. Um, as mentioned, you'll make sure that you want to collect all your data and follow and each, um, you know, make sure you're fully analyzing all the data that's being requested. All right. Good luck, everyone.